China is a country of immense size, boasting the world's fourth largest land area. It spans over 9.5 million square kilometers, a figure that can be difficult to grasp without comparison. To put this into perspective, China is only slightly smaller than the entire continent of Europe. This vast landmass encompasses a wide range of geographical features, from towering mountains to expansive deserts and fertile plains. While China's land area is undoubtedly large, it is essential to consider its population density. With over 1.4 billion people, China is the world's most populous country. This massive population is not evenly distributed across its territory. The eastern regions of China are densely populated while the western regions are sparsely inhabited. This disparity in population distribution is largely due to geographical and climatic factors, which have shaped the country's history and development. Understanding China's land size and population distribution is crucial for comprehending the country's social, economic, and environmental challenges. The sheer size of China can be difficult to comprehend simply by looking at a map. To truly grasp its vastness, it's helpful to draw comparisons to more familiar areas. For instance, China is larger than the contiguous United States, stretching from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. If China were superimposed on a map of Europe, it would stretch from Portugal in the west all the way to Moscow in the east. Another striking comparison is to consider China's size relative to other large countries. China is larger than Brazil, Canada and Australia combined. In fact, it is larger than the entire continent of Australia, including its surrounding islands. These comparisons highlight the immense scale of China's landmass and underscore its significance on the global stage. China's population distribution is remarkably uneven, with a stark contrast between its eastern and western regions. This imbalance is vividly illustrated by the Haihe Tengchong Line, an imaginary diagonal line that divides China into two distinct halves. The eastern half, encompassing roughly 43% of China's land area, is home to over 94% of its population. This region is characterized by fertile plains, abundant water resources, and a long history of agriculture and urbanization. In contrast, the western half, covering the remaining 57% of China's territory, is sparsely populated with vast stretches of deserts, mountains, and plateaus. This region is home to diverse ethnic groups and cultures, but its harsh environment and limited infrastructure have hindered its economic development. The Haihe Tengchong Line serves as a stark reminder of the uneven distribution of China's population and the challenges this poses for national development. Geographic and Climatic Factors Shaping the Human Landscape The uneven distribution of China's population is largely attributed to geographic and climatic factors that have influenced settlement patterns throughout history. The eastern region, particularly the North China Plain and the Yangtze River Delta, boasts fertile alluvial soil, abundant rainfall, and a temperate climate, making it ideal for agriculture and supporting large populations. The presence of navigable rivers facilitated trade, communication, and the development of urban centers. In contrast, the western region is characterized by arid deserts, towering mountain ranges, and a harsh continental climate with extreme temperatures and limited rainfall. The Tibetan Plateau, the world's highest and largest plateau, dominates much of western China, posing significant challenges for human habitation and agriculture. These geographic and climatic constraints have historically limited population growth and economic development in western China. Water scarcity in China, a looming crisis. Despite its vast landmass, China faces significant water scarcity challenges, particularly in its northern and western regions. With only 7% of the world's freshwater resources to support its massive population, China's per capita water availability is among the lowest globally. This scarcity is exacerbated by uneven distribution, with the water-rich south contrasting sharply with the arid north. Water scarcity has profound implications for China's agriculture, industry, and overall economic growth. The North China Plain, a major agricultural region, faces severe water shortages, impacting crop yields and food security. Industrial growth in urban centers also strains water resources, leading to competition between agricultural, industrial, and domestic water use. Addressing water scarcity is crucial for China's sustainable development. The government has implemented various measures, including water conservation efforts, pricing reforms, and ambitious infrastructure projects like the South North Water Diversion Project. Navigating Water Scarcity, the South North Water Diversion Project. The South North Water Diversion Project, 
is a colossal engineering endeavor aimed at alleviating water scarcity in northern China by transferring water from the Yangtze River Basin in the south to the more arid north. This mega-project consists of three routes, the eastern route, the middle route, and the western route, each with unique challenges and goals. The eastern route, completed in 2013, channels water from the lower Yangtze River northward through existing canals and rivers to the provinces of Jiangsu, Anhui, Shandong, and Hebei. The middle route, operational since 2014, diverts water from the Han River, a tributary of the Yangtze, to Beijing and other cities in northern China. The western route, the most complex and challenging, is still under planning and aims to transfer water from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River to the Yellow River Basin. While the South-North Water Diversion Project is designed to address water scarcity in northern China, it has also generated environmental and social concerns. The project's impact on ecosystems, biodiversity and water quality in both the source and receiving regions is a subject of ongoing debate. The displacement of communities along the project's routes and the potential for inter-regional water conflicts are additional challenges that require careful consideration.